does. does. So let's say you're on a debate stage uh, with, say, J.D. Vance, and he accuses you of being a big government liberal who's attacking our families, making life worse for our families, doesn't share our values, doesn't care about uh, uh, families like yours. What do you say to him? Yeah, well, first of all, it was up to him. I wouldn't have a family because of IVF and the things that we need to do reproductive. My kids were born through that direct, you know, that way. Uh, and also, I make sure that uh, I'm the guys and, and our folks are investing in prenatal care. We're the ones that are there for universal pre-K. We're the ones that are providing school meals at this. I'm not going to back down one bit on this whole family values thing, and it's us. That, that construct that he's putting out there is absolutely untrue. We're making it more affordable to have children by having paid family and medical leave so that you can go home when your kids are sick and take care of them. Or if you're a dad, I don't have to go right back to work five days later after my wife had a C-section because our insurance wouldn't pay for it. We're boosting those things up. There's nothing pro-family other than having women be incubators for their vision of this. Once again, it's weird. I don't want J.D. Vance talking about my family. I certainly don't want him talking about my, my daughter or my wife. Uh, it's none of his damn business. But I said the one thing is, is we need to talk about how we've invested in families. We have the most generous child tax credit, and it's what uh, Vice President Harris is proposing for the country. People are poor because they don't have money. And when kids don't have the money on the front end, all of the things that a chain reaction of can't learn, can't go on. So uh, I'll, I'll challenge him on.